Today we're covering Lucario, once the king of Pokemon Unite, now the gesture. Lucario is a great laner, excelling in his pressure capabilities with E-Speed and Bone Rush, or Pup if you want the easier route. To pressure correctly, it would all start here. Here, you mark your targets, who will give you the most problems to who will be the easiest picks. Here's where I break down all possibilities in this match. All right, squishy, somewhat squishy, squishy. Maybe? And eh, hella tanky. Just avoid Blastoise. He's just too damn tanky for his own good. Unless you could sw unless you could take that KO, then sure, take that KO. But anything after that, don't touch it. Like, don't even look at him. The Blastoise is too much, like, resource for me to, like, get a KO. We got a Trevenant. We got a Sableye. We have a Decidueye. Are you going to be... Are you going to throw and be Razor Leaf, or are you going to be, like, Spirit Shackle? I'm asking so many questions because I need to know about my team. From the start of the match, you want your level 5, ideally before 850 Alterias. Going back. Yeah, got my Razor Claw. Helping your teammate with their farm is always a good thing. Remember not to step away from the farm. You will not get the passive XP when your teammate claims that farm. I'm stacking. Notice, instead of stacking immediately, I chose to deny the enemy Glaceon XP to get my level 3, then stack. I am using the X speed item for exactly this purpose, to get stacks and deny enemy heals when ganked. Then I take this route to get one or both enemy players away from the lane so that my lane partner gets farm, score, or better, both. Fumbling secures like this helps you understand your Pokemon secure threshold so that next time you get it just right. Don't get yourself KO'd before the mid farm. Just need to focus on getting my E speed. The bees are up. I died at bees. Nice. Keep up the pressure. It's a little loud. I need these, my friend. Yeah, I gotta go score. Oh my e speed. It's three stacks. Bro, you know I'm canceling the animation, bro. You know I'm doing We tried to save my lean partner in the hopes he would make it out alive. I thought I would take their berries and then use my E speed to get out easily using farm as resets. No way, I just used my freaking E speed like that. Best Dude, thing you can do in every speed. death is coach yourself, formalize a new game plan, speed, or modify the old on, one to on, best fit on. the situation you're in. On, let's, play, let's play all right. Let's play all right. I know I'm not that shit on E speed. But he also got to freaking collaborate with me, man. I'm over here freaking busting my nuts. Get that. Oh, you got the kill? All right, cool. Okay, I suck at securing. Bro, I'm like pushing this jerk off out with the cancels. Here, I thought to snatch this farm, score, get my stack, and pop X speed to take their berries. What went wrong? Can you guess? I was not paying attention to how much I was trying to score. When scoring, you become invincible. I was counting on this mechanic to negate the icicle spears from Glaceon. The new game plan is to pay closer attention. He's got potion. Freaking say like, like wreaking havoc. Overcaps are very important. I was waiting for my Sableye to score their 8 so that I can score my 25, getting a decent overcap of 21. 
Since my partner went to get more coins, he now has 21 and I have 25. If he was going to break, I'd rather be with my 25 than his 21, getting an overcap of 13. Got six stacks. My partner being greedy taking farm that will give me my unite is never good. He has his. It's best for both of us to have our unites. Both of these unites work great together. I should go invade, shouldn't I? The business idea here is to take the enemy jungle, giving them a motive to stop me so that my team have plenty of time to claim positioning over the Reggie objective. My plan worked. All of the enemy team is addressing my threat. Most of them are KO'd or in jungle. So I'm going central. I don't know about you guys. This means I can clean mid farm uninterrupted. While they fight their jungler for their farm, further crippling the jungler. It's best to have a Gengar with no buffs than one with blue and red buffs, especially when my team consists of a Guardi and a Decidueye. It is best for this Trevenant to present a threat to the enemy team on the bottom bush pushing and shoving and stunning instead of helping with this Reggie. We wouldn't want to do all the hard work so that they can come steal this Reggie. Having great situational awareness is the making of a great player. I noticed the Gengar landed his Dream Eater on my Decidueye. I was simply waiting for him to take it. The moment he did, I body blocked the Shadow Ball with E-Speed getting the reset messing up his combo, then getting the KO. I felt confident in this push, so we kept pressing on. We could do this push. Sure enough, we got the surrender. They just said screw it. If he was going to break, I'd rather it be me with my... Let me do that. What's up with my English, bro? Read better, man. Having great situational awareness is the makings of a great player. Notice that Gengar landed his Dream Eater. Sorry. Having great situational awareness is the makings of a great player. I noticed the Gengar landed his Dream Eater on my Decidueye. I was simply waiting for him to take it. The moment I... The moment, 